How would I not have seen a wolf, guys? I'm confused. Oh my god! Okay, now I see what you were saying. What is good on you guys? My name is CPK and welcome back to another Minecraft video on my channel. We're back with some more One Life, the Minecraft survival series where if you die, you are forced to sit in a room for the rest of your life and watch the really sad opening to the movie Up. So today, I've been trying to think of things that I can do that other people aren't doing on the server. Obviously, when you're on a server with 10 people, it can be pretty hard to come up with something that hasn't already been done. So I've been looking through some things, and I found a few really cool items in the Harvest Craft mod. Sadly, not the market block, because that's off limits. Paper bark. Can I grow paper? Are you serious? That is not a thing. You are lying to me. I do not understand what's about to happen here. Is this real? Sapling, paper. Why didn't that work? It's literally any vanilla sapling and it's one of the only ones I didn't pick up. My bad. Okay. Oak sapling. Here we go. What? No way. Oh, okay. There's a chest there. I'll explore the chest in a minute. I have to go and follow through with this first because I don't want to forget about it. I'll add you to my uh, tree area over here. Uh, you can go right there. We only have three pieces of bone meal, so let's get lucky. Come on. <gasps> we did get lucky. It just gives us paperback wood. Is that what I'm seeing here? You know what? I'll leave it for a while. It looks like something would grow on it. Wait, apparently clicking the wood will give us one paper. We have enough time to experiment with this. We have the right things as well. Let's cut this straight back down. Kind of counterproductive for what we just did here, but you know what? I want to try this. Wait. You don't get the wood? I am so confused by what this tree is and what this tree does. So it doesn't do anything. It gives you jungle leaves. And then when it vanishes, it gives you jungle sapling. Okay, I'm confused. Let's try this again. Okay, I think I understand this time. Okay, here we go. Paper battery. Is this not ripe? <gasps> oh, did you see how that changed color slight? Oh! I got paper. Okay, I understand. So basically, that tree will grow ripe and not ripe. When it's ripe, we can right click the tree log and we get paper from it. Okay, so it's a new day and I just found out that I can make things like this. I actually don't know how to do this, so I don't know what I'm doing. It's not that. Okay, ignore what I just tried to do. Cut that out, Jack. There we go. Look at that. We can get some carpet made of leaves. Oh God, and I've already ruined it. I think that looks kind of cool. My little leafy carpet there. But anyway, yeah, the thing that I actually saw that I wanted to make wasn't either of those things. It was these wonderful trap contraptions. Oh my God. I realize why it's called a contraption now. That's amazing. Okay, so we need a fishing rod and that one we need a trap door chest. It's all pretty basic stuff. So I'll show you more about what they do any second. For now, let's take some string. We need to make a trap door too, which we don't have right now. We do have right now. I will shut my mouth. So we're going to come here and we're going to go back to find this stuff that we wanted to make. So we're going to move the items in there and take the ground trap for us. And then we want a water trap as well. Oh my God. I'm so glad I noticed that. It tried to use my fishing rod with mending on. That would have been the biggest mistake of my life. Holy moly. Okay. And now that we have traps made, of course, we need bait. So there are a number of different kinds of bait. However, there is only one kind of bait for fish. So we are going to do this. I think this should work. And then a bit of string. It does not work. We need normal fish. Oh, all my fish are outside, aren't they? They're just sat in that chest. I will still check this chest any minute, by the way, guys. Keeping you on a cliffhanger. Keeping you waiting for it. Now we're talking. Bit of string and some fish around it. Provides us with fish trap bait. So we're going to make a few of these. 20 fish trap bait there and there are actually three different kinds of bait for the ground trap there are veggie bait fruit bait and grain bait to me the best one for me i think is gonna be grain bait so i need some wheat there we go take the wheat pop it in here and we literally do it all around and then sposh some string in we have a lot of that okay now let's go outside and see if we can get this to work nice and quickly i don't know how fast it actually starts working so we're gonna have to test this ourselves so i'm gonna go ahead and make a little hole in the ground here and that's where i'm gonna pop my ground trap now when i click into it i have to pop the grain bit in there and all of these little trap things here will fill up with random stuff so I can get a variety of things, including like bones, leather, raw chicken and raw beef and stuff like that. So I can get a lot of meat and stuff without having to actually sacrifice any animals. It's a really cool method of actually getting leather without having to kill cows and stuff. I know everyone feels bad about killing their Minecraft animals, right? At least I hope it's not just me. The water trap actually has to be placed in a body of water. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of a couple of these. And we're going to place the water bait in there as well. And now, uh, hopefully, as we progress with our episode, we'll come back and check on these and we'll actually have some stuff in there. 
Okay, now let's have a look at what is in this chest. Whacker Zombie by BB Paws. Oh, and some flesh. Yum. Zombies get you down. Well, it's time to stop their tricks and treat yourself. To Whacker Zombie coming down to X178Z544. Slay some zombies. Costs only one diamond. Okay. Whacker Zombie is not responsible for any person's bitter night injured during zombie slaying. Okay. I'm curious. You know what, let's check it out. I don't know exactly what this is going to be. I'm sure it can't be uh, too bad, right? It sounds like it could be fun. Let's take one diamond. Let's also take a couple of gold because we're probably going to visit Lizzie's house just so we can heal ourselves because we lost three hearts, apparently. And I don't remember that happening, but it did. Oh, I have a feather. I captured a feather in my ground trap. Yeah. Who's the trap king now? No fish yet, though. You know, we'll talk about the fish later. So the way I like to do coordinates is get to one of them first and just work my way to the other one instead. Minus 178 there and 677 this way. All right, so if we just go roughly this direction, we should eventually hit whatever this thing is that Brit has made. Whacker zombie. Whacker zombie sounds like fun. I love whacking zombies. 20 minutes later. We must be getting close now. Minus 178, 544. Oh, it's here. Welcome to Whacker zombie. Okay. Do I need to prepare? Is there anything I need to know before I come in? Oh, God. This looks promising. I'm so scared in case something's just going to, like, appear in front of me. Amber? I need amber. Yeah, I took the amber, so what? Big deal. What are you gonna do about it? There's more amber. Holy moly. Okay, well, I took one piece. I don't need any more. What is that? Oh, it's close helium. Sorry. Sorry. Okay, safe room. No guest access. Oh, that's a strip mine. That's cool. She got some spooky jack-o'-lanterns here. Welcome to Wacker Zombie. Walk fast. The door shuts quickly. Toss payment of one diamond onto pink square. What's in the safe room? Oh, that's cool. Okay, I guess we're gonna try this. I don't know what it is. I'm scared that I can take damage. Okay, so we're in. Stand here to lure zombies. System is flawed. Oh, God. Wait, what? Treasure's found here. So I think by standing here, I'm luring zombies that are on that side of the wall to fall down and die. And then I get to go and claim whatever drops in here. Am I understanding this correctly? Okay. I'm actually hearing some zombies this time. I was just about to try and turn my sounds up just to make sure I wasn't missing anything. And I heard some zombies screaming. Maybe I should have brought like a book to read or something while I stand here so that I wasn't just, you know, stood on my own. I kind of just want to go down there and see if there's anything else in the chest already. Oh, I lured them. Now I can kill them. I get it. Okay, I actually get to whack the zombies. I get to whack the zombies, whack the zombies, whack the zombies. Does that all somehow go into here? I don't know what was here before I got here and what wasn't. Because I need to go back, stand up here for a little bit, and then I can go back down and whack the zombies. Okay, I'm hearing screaming. Haha, -ha, time to die, losers. Honestly, this is probably better for XP than anything else. Okay, this is probably something that I'm going to do off camera rather than on camera, just because it can take a little while, I guess. But this is actually a pretty cool idea. I do like it. It's very good for getting XP, if nothing else. Big shout out to Brit. This is a really cool idea. Thanks for allowing me to use it. Now, how do I get to Lizzie's house from here? Okay, we found the golden path. The golden path is all that we need because the golden path is true and just. Oh my goodness, what is this? There's a new building. Oh, it looks the same. What's in here? Wait, is there nothing in here? Oh my god, what the heck? What is that? Why are you trapped inside glass? The little black cats are from the witches, right? Oh, that's why it's all witchified. I get it. Sorry, I'm an idiot. This would hurt you, right? Lizzie. That's smart. I like that. That's really cool. Lizzie has a witch's cat as her pet. That is badass. Oh, and it was Lizzie's birthday. Oh, she got rid of the booby traps. Oh, she even got rid of the death blooms. That's nice. Now I know that I can safely run around Lizzie's area without being absolutely destroyed by things. Okay, and uh, let's heal ourselves. Oh, hold on. I'll pay her. I'm sorry. I'll pay her. Have a piece of gold, Lizzie. Well, clearly some wild stuff has been happening on the server while I've been off for a few days. Lizzie's got a witch's cat now. Oh, actually, on the way back, I got a comment saying that I should go and check out Joey's new pet. And I can't think of what pet Joey would have that I haven't already seen. I'm curious now, so I'm going to go and check it out because, you know, I want to see what pet he's got. Where would Joey's new pet be? I know he's got his stables and stuff over here. Oh my goodness. That's amazing. Joey is such a talent. Okay, it's nighttime though, so I'm gonna sleep first. Then we'll find his pet. Unless his pet is in the house. That is always a possibility, I guess. I didn't think about that. Oh my goodness, this looks like it might be over here. I've never seen this area before. I see Iris, they look cool. What is in here? Hello? It's a wolf. How would I not have seen a wolf, guys? I'm confused. Oh my god! Okay, now I see what you were saying. Aww. He got a polar bear, Eirik Bernison. Eirik Bernison? I don't know how you say the name. I'm really sorry. Oh, he's precious. I like him. Did he adopt that from Stacy? I knew Stacy had one available for adoption because I adopted one of Stacy's wolves and called it Cuddlebutt. Apparently, I got the only wolf that wasn't 
aggressive. For some reason, all the wolves turned really angry and uh, now no one can adopt them. So I managed to sneak one out there. Stacy didn't know who got it, so I let her know it was me because I want her to know that Cuddlebutt is in a kind and loving home and she's welcome to visit whenever she pleases. Okay, let's go ahead and check on our traps that we set up, see if we've got anything juicy in there yet. Oh, look at this. We've got feather, 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 bone and some raw chickens. This is a much safer way of getting bones and having a skeleton farm. And has this caught anything yet? Oh, it has. Look at all these fish. Holy moly. So this only catches fish. I probably won't use it that much, but it's still a really cool thing. I might make like five or six of each of these and just spread them out places and let them collect me a bunch of stuff that I can sell in a shop maybe. Right, let's go across and see if we can get any paper from our paperback tree. How's it looking, paperback tree? Do I have to have an empty hand? No. Okay, so it's still not ripe again yet, so it does seem to take a little while. But guys, as promised, I told you that every episode as from now on, I'm going to be adding someone to the party room. So we're going to come in here, and we're going to quickly dig into this wall on this side. So the first person I decided to add to the party wall by complete random choice, I just scrolled through and uh, found a comment that I just wanted to include, is Go Go the Bomb. I kind of want to write that in a different color, actually. Let's write it in a different color. Yeah, that's cool. Go Go the Bomb. There we go. Go Go the Bomb is here to party. So this is what I'm going to be doing, adding people all the way down here. It's going to go on as long as it needs to go on. And we're going to be adding people to the party room every single episode, providing I remember. Please don't get mad if I don't remember, because as I've said a million times, guys, I'm an idiot. So that is going to be it for this episode. Hopefully you did enjoy this one and uh, you like the traps, you think they're cool. Make sure to subscribe if you are new and leave a like, because it's just a nice thing to do. Leave a comment, let me know your username if you want to be added to the party room in the next episode. And I will see you all in the next video. Peace.